Hey everybody, uh, I'm running a little behind as usual. Y'all should be used to that by now. Uh, um, I do hope everyone had a great Christmas. I know we did and uh, if y'all are going to be out on New Year's Eve, y'all drive safe and uh, be careful. Uh, I wanted to uh, show y'all we're going to be doing some gold leaf. I had showed everyone uh, a toilet seat that I was going to be doing something to. That, so I decided that we're going to gold leaf it. Uh, but first, next week, what I'm going to be doing is um, we're going to be talking about rollers and how to apply paint. There's been some questions. Some girls have contacted me and asked me about different ways and what I use. So I thought that would be a great opportunity to start. So that's for next week. So y'all stay tuned. It's going to be about um, rollers, um, foam rollers, uh, chip brushes, the Klingon, Miss Lillian's, uh, angle brushes, um, just several different ones. So we'll get to that next week. But let me turn this down here and show y'all. And Lord, I just hope this apparatus will all stay together until I get ready and get done. Let me turn this light on up here. Okay. Um, y'all probably saw the post that uh, Jennifer Ferguson did uh, here a while back. I posted it this morning. Uh, where she was applying the foil. And this is what I got on here. But first, to prep it, I used Miss Lillian's uh, Swamp Mud. And I used the black. I've really got a bad glare. I'm sorry about that, y'all. But um, I put two coats of that on. I put it on the front and the underside. And I let that dry. And then I applied the size. I didn't see any need for y'all to see me to apply that because you just I just put it on with a chip brush. Um, like this right here is all I used. And it's uh, water soluble, so I just washed my brush out whenever I was done. And I used her, boy, that glare, the uh, her arts, Artsyville. Uh, embellishment. It's a foil adhesive. You can use it for the foil or the gold leaf, whichever one. And I also uh, prepped some of my molds with it, and we're going to put foil on here. And as you can see, I've kind of cheated and done a little piece there. But applying uh, gold leaf is just as easy as the foil. And I usually keep baby powder, and I put just a little bit on my hands so that it doesn't stick. And as you can see, I kind of started here and I just lift up one sheet at a time, like this right here. And I usually don't lay the sheet out and hold. I will just take it and do it just like that and let it pick itself off, like that right there. And the size it's been on, oh, probably a couple of hours, I guess. But Jennifer says that you can leave this on for a long time and not have any issues with it. So, and it really did, it really tacks up nice. But that's all you do is you just pull it up and down. And I have done some art pieces um, to where I took the sheets and laid them down just square like this on top of a black, black on a canvas and it was really pretty. And then I distressed it. I distressed the squares. So there's a lot of things that you can do with gold leaf. People are kind of afraid of it, but it's really easy to use. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is you can see I have open spots there, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Boy, this glare, y'all. I've never really had that much trouble before with that, and I don't know why I'm having so much now. But you're just going to take, and I'm I'm going to want some of that black to show through. And I'm just going to rub it. And I may not fill in all of those areas like that right there. See, isn't that pretty? That's really going to be fit for a king, don't you think? It would make a really nice, cute gift, I think, for a joke, maybe. But I have actually seen some on Pinterest that are completely done in gold. And 
And then if I see that my hands are getting sweaty, then I just put just a little bit more uh, baby powder on them. And I'll stop here in just a second and I'll do the foil. Uh, I bought some sample packets uh, from Jennifer Ferguson from the Artistic uh, Painting Studio. So I will uh, show y'all that in just a second. But see, your gold leaf will even go pretty far. You want to use every little piece, too. A friend of mine, Marty Carroll, uh, whenever I was working with her down in Baton Rouge, we literally done a whole ceiling using the gold leaf. And it was absolutely gorgeous whenever we got through. It was really pretty. So you can use this on walls, ceilings, um, just about anything you can imagine. But I think that it's just really pretty. And what I've done is I'm thinking, these are my molds, and once I'm done, I'm thinking about applying them like this. I'm probably going to bend these down. And this is when I've already got the uh, adhesive on there. 